change you can change change land in a cell. Remember to uh, also click enter out and enter together. You can change that. This is the only trick in the data entering here. And today we are going to continue. Continue to explore the other functions of Excel through this project. Here is how to use the flash fill. Uh, this is a very convenient function. If you, and for example, here, you want to enter the email address. Imagine you have a lot of employees, a lot of uh, many, many Excel, uh, many, many email address need to enter. And it's very convenient. If only you enter the first one, even you don't need the second one, only the first one, then you go to click the flash, uh, flash fill button and all the other, uh, uh, sure, step five, you need to select the range you want to fill, you want to fill in, and then click this flash fill button. And all these areas will be filled with the same email from, um, format. Here, let me show you Example. Um, see. Here, for example, these are the names. And uh, I want the pattern is DJ and uh, whatever email, hotmail email, or uh, another kind of format, your company name, something like that. And then uh, come to this, select this range, then click to select this two. Like the flash fill button, it works. It need an example to use this button. And also, uh, if the first one you enter the initial or uh, the lower case of the initial of the first and last name, and the second one, if you write a uh, upper case, it will not recognize your pattern. Now, again, I can't find my flash fill. I don't think I have it. Uh, date tab. It's and where... date tab. The home yeah, insert. I'm on. I'm on that. Uh, online version don't have date tab. What? You are using the online version? Do you mean that? No, I'm not. I'm on the, the horizon, the VM. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Uh, and just see, can you see my pointer? Insert page layout formulas and then it's date. Yeah, I'm on data. Okay, click date, then come to this date tools group here. Okay. Here is flash fill. I'm on data tools, but I don't see a flash fill. Maybe. Are we supposed to be doing something right now? I thought we were writing the other emails, jbennett at email.com. You can input any format on uh, any. Um, yeah, I don't have it. You don't have flash fill? No. 
last year. Um, you um, did you maximize your Excel Excel um window update up memory full screen? Yeah. Mm. It, it is it should be there. Um, I don't know. I guess after class you can look. I could share my screen with you. Okay. Um, some students ask, is it a new project? This is the second project of our Excel projects. We finished the personal budget one, and this is the second second project. So I wrote the bj at hotmail.com, and now how do I get it to go through all of them again? When do I press the flash? Oh, uh, okay. Let me clear this one. And you select the, the one you already entered, and then select the rest of the range you want to fill. And and then click this flash fill button. Okay, I'm trying it. Do you see? Yes, and then it just me to say all this. I, I got all the same. This is BJ. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, so if so, please try to enter another one, the second one. F M uh, then whatever email. And now you have two examples. Your email should be able to recognize. Enter I, two. It, it, I get it like a, a email draft. But here let me try it. It said we looked at the data next to your selection and didn't see a pattern. Or filling in value. Oh, this is uh, what you need to pay attention. Uh, the two patterns need to be exactly the same. For example, the first one is lowercase b j. B is the last name initial. J is the first name initial. And the second one should be the same. F M F lowercase of the last name initial. M, the lowercase of the uh, first name initial. They should be exactly the same pattern. That's what I did. I did those exactly like that lowercase. Oh, uh, still, it still say, let me show you if I put another pattern. F, M, hotmail.com. Now, it says, uh, is it well, was on your screen? Said we looked at all the data. Yep, that's it. But I, I did B and J and F and M all lowercase. And uh, um, another thing you need to pay attention is uh, nothing else around this area, or else um, the Excel may be confused, can't find the uh, pattern. Maybe there's another. Try it again. Factor. <laughs> you you can add so that uh, add a new worksheet and only copy the names to the new sheet. And try. Oh, this is a new sheet. Um, um, we should work on the original worksheet, but for test you can. You can copy to our new a uh, new sheet to, for practice. Wait. So, what are we supposed to be doing right now? Um, we are learning to use this flash fill, flash fill function. So, what should I do if I don't have it? Can I put it in manually? Um. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, also, you can leave it. You don't need to enter it. You just leave it blank, and you can preview the next slides. 
because the rest of the work has nothing to do with this part. Okay. Now it worked. I just did it on another sheet and it did it by itself. I didn't even press flash fill. Oh, it's already worked, right? Just the enter key after the first enter and the rest of them already display automatically. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But um, uh, on this worksheet, your work doesn't, uh, your fill, flash fill doesn't work, right? Is that? Yeah. Mm, maybe there was something distract, <laughs> something hidden in your Excel. Uh, I think it was because I didn't have a, in one of the names, I didn't have a comma. Oh, you don't. One of them. Um, if you have a space, it's supposed to be work too. Let me, let me try. If you don't have, you don't have the common. It's common to us this. And let me try. I'm not sure. bjgmail.com. Uh, and it still work. I think it's not the, um, not because of common. Some other reason. Other reason. Okay. Mm. You can try, uh, you can just uh, copy from your new worksheet, copy and paste here. And later after class, you can try to start a new workbook and do the same thing. It might be work. Okay. Maybe something hidden on your, this, work, this worksheet. And here we have another, uh, another thing need to learn um, is how to remove the, see, if you want, if I have something wrong, I want to change, if I want to change this some, uh, some email address. It's uh, a link, it's very annoying. It's very annoying if I click it, I can't change it. And, uh, and th this is, uh, what we don't want. And if we want to change it, how can we do that? Use your keyboard, the arrow, the arrows to move to, to the email address you want to change. And then click here. Click here, you can change it. For example, here I want to change to whatever. And then press Enter key. You can change the email. Uh, in, um, Sarah, you can try this. This has nothing to do with the flash fill if you want to try. Yeah, what is it? Just fixing it if I need to fix it? Yes, you can enter whatever email here and learn how to fix uh, email address. And yeah, I have it. Okay, and now we are, uh, uh, let's see how to remove the, hi the hyperlink. Right click on the cell and there is a remove hyperlink button on the bottom. Then you remove it. You can, you can edit it. But if only you click, uh, you uh, press enter key, it come back. It's automatic. What are you supposed to be doing? Um, I just every time, every time I press on the name, it just tells me that this email is no program associated, blah, blah, blah. So like, it doesn't really let me click on it. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's what we are doing because it's a link. We can remove the link. You right, right click on the cell and there is a remove hyperlink button. 
You don't use your your mouse, your pointer to click on the cell. Use your arrow if your if your focus is here now. Use your keyboard, the arrows move to the destination cell. Yeah, I know I'm doing that. I know. Okay. And here is one way, right click to remove hyperlink. Another way is uh, at home, there is a clear button. Here, there is a remove hyperlinks. This, this one is different. Uh, not different. Same thing. Okay, same thing. I was just typing the emails like you have over there. And then it just, I did like three or four of them and then it just did all automatically. It's good. Oh, oh it, it, it's our. Gave me the right ones, all with the M. Oh. Oh, my is wrong here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I even didn't find it. Oh, yeah, and emails are wrong. Yeah. J. Bennett. I'm right. Uh, okay. I used the clear hyperlink thing and it's still like my name on the on the thing is like still purple. Does that matter? Uh, you right click and uh, yeah, it, whenever I right click it, it, it just pops up as saying that it's not a real email, so. Oh, okay. If you enter a um, uh, regular email address, maybe it will not pop up that uh, prompt. Um, let me see what's my problem. I'm afraid. Amen. And now let me fail. Wait, should we be putting in all the 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 numbers in? The gross pay, the federal tax. No, no, no. Uh, just the numbers on slides. Uh, slides file. Slides file. And the other numbers we are going to calculate. Use formulas to calculate. That's oh, the, it in it, yeah. yeah, the important thing we are going to learn. Just, you just need to enter these uh, numbers and, uh, or the in slide, slide file. Okay, let me fail. Okay, now, uh, is that, do you see now they are correct email? Yeah, so should I delete the wrong ones that I did? That I copied with the M. Um. Okay. You you can fix as I did. And um, uh, what I'm saying about another another um. Uh, okay. Uh, I just said how to fix an email. Um, use this formula bar. You use here to to change something if you want. If you need to change in your real work, and if you want to remove the hyperlinks, just uh, select the range. For example, I want to remove all the hyperlinks. Just right click, remove hyperlinks. And you're done. Here you don't need to do that. Just show you how to, how to do. And let's come back to our next steps. Um, oh, can you, can you go back to the emails for a second? Because I wasn't done writing them. Uh, you, you don't need to write all. Only one or two is okay. Okay. You can leave the other blank. Why am I not able to highlight? It just keeps moving the cell. I click it. 
you click on the email cell. Yes, and then how do I highlight it all down? Why is it not working then? Highlight, uh, you mean this, like this, the... Oh yeah, okay, I got it. Now do data, Blashville. Oh wow, it worked, great, thanks. I have one more question. Um, when I when I press on all of them, I think I think the flash fill pops up. So what am I supposed to do once I press it? Or oh wait, no, it's quick analysis. I think it's something else. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> What's your problem? No, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Here is uh, another example, not only uh, not only the Excel, another example. If I want to enter a uh, uh, phone number, if only I finished the first one and the rest will be automatically filled with the fill handle, flash fill. You can try on your, um, on your sheet if you want. And um, is there anyone still have questions or problems about this email flash fail? If no, let's Go to next step. Uh, this is very easy to change the sheet tab name and the uh, uh, color. We here we want to change it to salary report, not the default sheet one. And right click as I show you yesterday. You can change the tab color whatever color you like. Okay, is everyone down with this type color? Name. Okay, if you're done, let's continue. Here is um, we start our importance. Uh, the formulas. Enter the formulas. Um, we already we already introduced the formulas here. The gross pay is hours worked times hours period. Uh, so. For this, the first gross pay for the first employee we entered. Um, when, let me show you on my Excel how to do that. Okay. And here, you uh, first you need to click. You can single click, double click, both okay. And uh, point here, click it. Here you enter EQ. This EQ sign is very important. In the first project, we enter a formula uh, of subtraction. Here we are going to use uh, multiplication. The first uh, the formula is our words worked. Uh, D is default. 
We can enter D four. D four times use your keyboard to enter this times E four. And you're done now, but don't use your mouse. Just press enter key, and you're done. It's not not hard. Two points you need to pay attention. One is click here to enter, uh, to enter the equals d4 times e4. And after you're done, here is the point. Press enter key. Okay. Are you done with this gross pay? Should we do it for the whole for the whole list? Um, no, only the first one. We are going to. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the rest. Just copy. Okay. Is there anyone has a problem with this one? No. I don't have a problem, but I had a question. How did you make? You did it at once that all the cells got bigger. You like highlighted that all, all, the, cells all the cells are bigger. Yeah, they all got wider. You did like that, and then what? Oh. You double click on one. Uh, see, at the beginning, it looks like this, right? And I select the whole worksheet. And then uh, move your mouse to any column. When your pointer becomes like this, like this, you double click. Oh, OK. Thank you. And if you have other things on this worksheet, for example, you don't want to change this column. You don't want to affect that column. You can only select the columns, uh, hold down your shift, your shift key on keyboard, and then um, click all the columns you want to change. Double click or, or drag or double click. And this one, the others are not affected. And um, if you're done with the gross pay, let's do the federal tax. Let's see what is the formula for the federal te text. Federal text is a point 22 times gross pay. This is a most uh, complicated one. Um, it's like this. Remember, gross pay minus dependence times 24 times, times 24. Okay. And uh, here, uh, slide 10 and 11 are the six steps to show how to enter the formula for this federal tax. Step one, you click here. First, your, your active cell need to be this G, G what, this cell. And then this is very important. Some students uh, in last semester, they, uh, they don't know which one is the active cell and just make the <coughs> formulas messy. First step, you need to make sure your active cell is this cell. And then move your pointer here. Enter EQ sign, then 0 0.22. Then you can, I didn't type the time sign, you can type, type it. 
and then the left bracket. Or you could use parentheses. Uh, it's good. Or you could use the parentheses. You don't have to do the time sign. Oh, oh. So I can use the parentheses, right? That. Parentheses. Uh, the parentheses is a mask. You call this not left bracket sign. Yeah, uh, but the time sign you can you can omit it and you can you can type it. But this uh, parentheses is a must input one. And step two, for the last formula, we typed the cell's name D4. Here, another trick, we don't type F4. We can just use our pointer to select the cell we need to use F4. We we'll just click on this cell. And then step three, you use a keyboard to type again, type the minus set. After you typed your minor sign, now you use your pointer, your mouse again to click this, uh, this cell, this dependent, dependence cell C4. C4 need to time a number, time 24.32. Now you switch to use your keyboard again to type. And then don't forget the, the right parentheses. Then press enter, you're done. What's the 24 again? Uh, what does that represent? 24.32. Yeah, what does that represent? What does it mean? Um, you don't need to care. It's just a formula for uh, to calculate the federal tax. Okay. I don't. I don't know either. When I press enter, it said we found the typo in your formula. It wants to add a time sign. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. It did it for me also. Just press OK. Okay, thanks. Oh, nice. It worked. And it, do you get this number, the final result for federal tax? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, if you done this, the rest you can do all of them. Now I give you 10 minutes to enter the rest, uh, the rest items, the so date, text, text, and net pay.
uh, Professor, quick question. So yes. when I'm entering the numbers in, they're not going to like the whole number. Like I'm still getting the right answer, but it's just coming off as a point something. Oh, it's okay. It's because the, the number for math, we are going oh. to match them later. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank no, you. Never mind. Okay. Maybe it's only two digits or one digits. That's okay. All right, cool. Thanks. Please let me know if you already done uh, with the three formulas. I'm done. Okay, good. I'm done also. Okay, good. Anyone? Is everyone down? Anyone not down? If you are not down, please let me know because we are going to do the rest. The rest of the calculation, we need this. The first one. Okay, I suppose you're all done. <laughs> Uh, less, uh, the, the next step is very easy. Now, if only we finish the first one, just you can use copy and paste is the uh, most easy, uh, most sim simple one, simplest one. Uh, just as your regular copy and paste, select the first, uh, first row and paste to the other, the, uh, for the other employees. And uh, the other way is to drag, drag, how to drag. Step one, select this range. Step two, uh, move your, your pointer here 
on the corner when is changed to a cross, like cross, you drag it down. And then you will get this image. Can you do it one more time, please? Yes. Do do need me to share my screen to show you? Okay. Uh, so I I highlighted everything. Just drag it down to to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the last employee, 12. Line 12. Oh, what? If I click, 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 clear. It works for me. Thank you. Okay. Clear. Thanks. Okay. Now it's a small black cross. Just drag. After drag, this sharp sense, it means the white is not in that. Just double click. Okay. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, after we done this part, we finished a lot. Uh, let's calculate the total. Use the sum button. We already learned. Uh, we already used the sum button last in last project. Uh, the first step, actually here, is saying how to select the non-adjacent cells. Just select the first or click on the first one. Then if you use the Mac computer, you use the command key and um, as a computer. I well, the command key doesn't work on the Mac either. Mm. It just says mm. where it will call. Are you any work? I don't know. It doesn't work for me. Nothing works for me on this program. I don't know. Mm. So what do I do? Because it doesn't is there, work. Is there anyone else use Mac computer and the virtual uh, virtual machine? Do you have the same problem? It's like do you, you have to keep pressing command until you finish drying the whole thing. It's not like you click it once and then drag. You have to keep dragging. Yeah, I I do that, but then my whole chart like moves and nothing like gets clicked. Oh, I don't know. Uh, hold, yeah, hold, hold the command. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. Hmm. I do that and it still doesn't work. I could show you after class, like my computer actually. Okay, for, okay, for now you can uh, you can use another method to calculate uh, one by one. Uh, first, you click some for, the, for this cell and then you click some for this three cell. And you need to click four times some button. You can finish it too. Okay. If you don't like this, uh, this step, you can calculate one by one. Mm, that's nothing too complicated too. And after you click the send button, you will get you get these results. Uh, if the number is the format is different from the screen, it's okay. Maybe you have only two digits after the dot. Does everyone get this, this results? 
Yeah, I just got in more decimals. Uh, I also got decimals and I could hold Decimals them. don't don't care about uh, the decimals. Uh, we, we, I'm going to show you later, a little bit later. We can increase and decrease the decimals. There is a button on the top. It's very easy. Don't worry about that. Uh, we need to, what we need to do here, um, text. Oh. Uh, for the total text, total text we just copy, copy the formula from um, from the employees. The formula is the same as each employee. It's not a sum of the text that will be horrible. Maybe higher than 100 percent wait i'm confused where'd you get that last number the this one mm -hmm. yeah which cell is this a13 right yeah oh uh copy see uh copy uh, copy the cell I12 and then paste to the cell I13. Oh, it's the same. Oh, sh sh which is that? Yeah, just a copy and paste. Oh my god, oh, what just happened? Wait, what are we doing? We, from I12? Yeah, we, we are calculating, uh, we are working on the cell I13. Is a total text. We can sum all the text, so we just copy a formula to from any employee to the total cell, total text. Actually, uh, maybe this did have. Uh, so what did it do? It did it did the sum. Uh, it... Not uh, this one is not sum. Just a copy of formula. Co copy of formula from to S thirteen, just as your regular copy and paste. I don't know what just happened, but everything I just did just deleted. I think. Press undo, Control C or the. The undo yeah, button. That it just sums one away, I think. Just press undo. Go back. It's fine. I'll just read that. Right. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Just copy and paste the last number? Like the same exact thing? Yeah. Okay. Copy of formula is just a regular copy and paste. Click. Uh, mm, click on the cell. Mm, let me see. Text. Let me clear it. See this. Uh, you can see this formula is G thirteen plus H thirteen divided by F thirteen, and uh, and this one is G twelve plus H twelve. Uh, divide by F12. And we need the same formula for the total test. Uh, just control C, you're active, make sure you click and actually act anyway, it works. Here we click this one, control C, and click the destination cell, control V, go down. And let's see the next. Yeah. We got the total text, then we are going to uh, use the max, mean, and average, these three buttons, uh, max, mean, average, for these three items, the highest value, 
low is the average. Let's do one by one. First is the for, for the highest of the dependence. The same thing. Uh, first step, you need to make sure your active cell is this one. You can't click other cells. And second is under the home tab. Click this drop down. There is a max button. Click it. And after you click that button, it will automatically give you this formula. And you need to select a range to calculate the max. Can you go back one slide? Yes. So C4, C14. Yeah, make sure, yeah, C14. Okay. It's then auto sum, click max. And press enter when it says max number one, number two. Then uh, you need to select this area. It did it automatically. Oh, okay, good. And this I need the number three, is that right? Number three. Yes, the three is correct. Oh, yeah. Number three is correct. And also see this this uh, equals max uh, from C4 to C12. This max actually is a function. Uh, this function is to find the max value from this range, range C4 to C12. And where can we find this function else? Um, this slide show you. Click this function button. There are a lot of functions um, include, is included in the Excel. You click this small button. Here are a lot of functions. And here you can find this max function too. Also, we are going to learn the other, uh, some of the other functions. Um, in next project. Here is max and click OK. The same, you, uh, you are doing the same thing as just click the max button. And also, another, uh, you don't need to know this way, but I just see it. You can uh, type, type max, and it will automatically show you max function and what parameter or what range you need to enter. And now uh, this is still showing the how to use the, this function button to calculate the max. You got the number three. Then we can use the same way to calculate the minimum value of dependence. It should be zero. Do you do you get zero here? No, I got three. Because you have to, because um, it automatically clicks on to C14. You have to make sure that that it's from C4 to C12. You have oh. to like, yeah. Thank you. 
And also you have, uh, here is another way to use a uh, main function. You select this range and press enter. Get zero. And the next step we are uh, use another way to use the average function. We don't uh, click the button anymore. We just type. When you focus it on the average cell, type equals sign, then type average, A, V, then this drop down list, this recommendations the function list will be displayed. You choose the one average average is what we we need click it then you choose the range choose the range then uh, press wait, wait. could you go back to the other slide i didn't see what you did okay so wait what am i supposed to be doing for the average equal av yeah, your type, that's the type, A, V, and do you have this drop down? Yeah, I should choose oh, average. Click, yeah, click the average. Double click. Oh. Double click, then you will get a, a, a format like this. You need to select the range. Mm. Okay. After you select the range, don't forget the other Parenthesis. Um, After the parenthesis, press enter. Did Did you get one point two two two? Whatever. I mean, uh, yes. Okay. It's a uh, it's a long long. That's most, but it's okay. You, after you done this three uh, functions, highest, lowest, average, you can copy. Copy until the net P. Copy and paste until the net P. We, what are we copying and pasting? Uh, copy the for uh, the three cells you just done, the highest, lowest, average, this three, three, zero, and one point, uh, zero point two, 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 and paste to this range. What do you mean copy and paste? Like I should redo it or like literally, literally press control V, control, or command C, whatever. Copy, copy, let me, sh let me show you. Mm. For example, let me clear first. 
Oh, I have three. You have these three uh, numbers down, and uh, select these three cells, and then Control C is copy. Or you can use your copy button here. Okay. Then select. You don't need to hold anything now. Select this area. You can use Control V to paste. Also, you can use where is the paste button? Paste, paste button. Oh, whatever. Just paste it. And I didn't and get the same answer as you, though. The same answers. I got totally different. Oh, uh, which which one is all? All these are different. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, for example, is that what what's value here on your side? The highest highest work the number. Control C. Let me try to paste them now. Um, for the, the a, hours worked, the total, the highest. I mean, it. I don't get eighty. I get six twenty point seventy five. Same. Oh, um. Okay, so uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Why not eighty? Uh, can you check? Check. Click on. Wait, I know why. I know why. Because probably when they when they calculated the three, um, they probably included from C. From oh. C four. Yeah, C4. probably. All right. Um, maybe let let let's check your formula. First. You just have to redo. You just have to redo the three by the by the thirteen C, and instead of including C four to C twelve, you have to do to C thirteen. I mean, you have to do C four to C twelve because there's that empty space. So they included that, and then when you do it for the other ones, it included the six twenty. So C four to C twelve. Yeah, yeah, not the C twenty. The first thing you need to check your formula for C14 is it the range from C4 to C12. Yeah, now I got it. Now it worked. And this is the, uh, the mean is the same thing, C4 to C12. And uh, if you make sure that, copy these three cells and paste again. And how how about now? That's good now. Okay, good. Isaac, uh, I have it yours. Yeah, it looks like that now. Okay, good. Let's go back. And it said uh, this one. You need to delete the A16 is meaningless. Uh, how to here is to teach you how to delete a formula. You just click on the cell, then press a delete button or backspace button. You can delete it. Special here. Wait, so you want us to delete that one? Uh, only delete this one, A16. I16? I yes. Okay. Leave it empty. And here is just show you something. Uh, show you, uh, for example, just now we checked the function for uh, 
for what for C uh, C sixteen or C fourteen, and uh, if you click on this cell, the ring finder will be uh, will be show you which ring you applied, and this one is saying the same thing. Use the range finder. It's called the range finder. Actually, just you click on the formula cell, and the different uh, cells it used in this formula is displayed with different colors here. See the green one, G4. Uh, the blue one, G4. It's G4. They are the same same color, and H4, red, red, red. And purple F four, F four, and you can like this. You can check. You can verify if your formula is correct. Correct. And if you want to uh, exit this cell, please do not click any other cells, or else you are going to refer uh, reference that cell. The formula will become messy. Just press Enter key to jump out of this cell. This is what you need to pay attention to a formula cell. Don't click anything. OK. Uh, now we done all the calculations. We are going to start to format, format this uh, worksheet. Um, first thing, let's apply a seam. If you don't have this seam, you can apply any seam. Uh, important thing is to remember the same is under the page up. The important thing you need to know that is a same gallery you can use. Then whatever you can find it. If you forget, you can click and then to check. Where you want to check. Uh, it's under this page layout tab. The first one. Click. Then you apply to the seam. Now let's format the title and subtitle. Do you still remember how to merge the cells? We need to merge the first line and the second line. If you don't know, please let me know. I show you. Yeah, I forgot how to merge it. Can you show us again? Okay. Or you could just tell me where to find it. Um, I have steps on the slide, but um, let me show you. For now, it's a merge. And if you want to merge this cell until where, until the date, so you need to select, select until here. And then in this position, there is a merge and send button. Wait, why don't I, why can't I see that? Mm, maximize your your exile window. Yeah, it is. I usually have it. I remember. Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry. You right click. Select after you select right click. Right click. And do you see this this merge and center button? One second. I have to like re click it. Okay. No, like every time I right click, it just doesn't work out for me. Mm -hmm. 
I don't like green. Uh, you check again, check your home, home tab. Okay, wait, one second. You can also click search, like the bad button next to help, and you type merch, and it shows you. Yes, that's what I want to click. Don't click. Okay. Yes. Wait, what is it? I have to first like get this onto my thing because every time I let go, it undoes and it takes forever. Okay, what'd you say to do? So you select the like the columns and then mm -hmm. you type merch where it says search where the professor is pointing. I don't have that button. Mark, uh, the, on the top after the help, do you see? Well, I don't want to see help. Yeah. I just have file home, insert page layout, formulas, data review, view, and tell me. I don't have a help thing. I literally hate my computer. This is ridiculous. Well, what it says, tell me, I think you can do it. Try to do that. Um, to tell look me, at um, type here. Here. Enter. Literally, share, share, share me your screen. I think this function should be included. Uh, let me help you to find it. And uh, let's see, uh, let's see. I got it, but it got rid of the salary report. It only, it it merged Olivia's art supply, but not salary report. It like- Yeah, you need, you need to do one by one. Oh. Yeah, one by one. The first one, the title, and then the subtitle, salary report. Understood. Oh my God, this is literally ridiculous. So you already found the merge and center button, right? Yeah, but my, but okay. like, it's annoying, but I'm figuring it out. That's good. Okay, um, let's stop here. Next class, we need uh, uh, maybe half of the class to finish the rest part. Maybe a whole class. Uh, okay, you still don't need to uh, to submit today. Next class, after we done everything, we submit. Oh, another thing we need to uh, for the title, we need to adjust the the font font of title and subtitle. You have better to down down that. Uh, change the font size says title is 16 16 you use this here we are introduce uh, these two buttons are very very useful increase the font size it's very convenient also you can use this drag down list to select 16 point and the sub subtitle is 14 and then change the background color uh, background color, you use, use this button. See this per, this fill button to this color or any color you like. Okay, then you're done with this title and subtitle. Next class, let's continue. Today, if you uh, don't have a question, you can leave this class. See you Monday. Thank you. You are welcome. If you have a question, you can stay here. Wait, how do I do the draw, the background color? Uh, see this, 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 this small thing? Do you see? Home type. Yeah, it, it doesn't let me, it doesn't let me click on that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Um, last time when I got off the thing, I like in the morning when we first started the class, I had to redo the whole thing. 
Oh. So like, how do, I, how do I make sure it doesn't happen again? Because I saved it, and when I go to open, I have I have it saved. But every time I clicked on it, it said, sorry, this thing, blah, 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 does not open. I don't know. So I just redid the whole thing. Mm. You have better send email to yourself to, to sell. And next time you download the file from your email box. Okay. Can you try that? You'll save yeah. this file on, on the virtual machine and then you attach it to your email sent to yourself to save. And next class, you download from your email box to continue. That's a safe way. Just uh, email you the assignment today. Okay, I will check later. Professor, um, for the homework, I, I shared it with you because I have trouble um, uploading it to a uh, Blackboard. Um, you, if you can submit on Blackboard, you have better submit on Blackboard. If you have it. I don't know, like, how do you do it? Like, do you download the file first? On Blackboard, do you mean on Blackboard? Like, I, I had trouble doing it. Uh, uh, can I show you show you how to submit? Yeah, on uh, I'll sh oh, okay. Um, yeah, can you show me how? Because I, okay. I was doing on the Word document. Uh, I can't find it. Uh, like, when I click a browse to uh, search for the um, file, uh, okay. it's not on my computer. But okay. I did it on Word. Oh, okay. Let me let me. I show just you. shared it with you last night, so like. Yeah. Okay, let let me show you how to submit. Um, is the first you click this? Can you see my screen now? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, assignment. Yeah. You click it, and there is a link, a link here. Whole H W one. Click this. Yeah. If you click this, you download the file. Click here. Yep. And you uh, edit your homework on your local computer, right? Yeah. And then you attach files. After you done your files, you you need to know where you put your your word. For word, how do you down the file for the, for the word document? Because I when I um. When I click browse my computer, like you did, um, I can't find it. Uh, you don't know where you saved it. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah, I just saved on Word, Word doc. That's Word. why I can't like send it. I, I just shared it with you like directly in the Word app. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what do you use? You, you use the. Uh, um... uh, uh, window, Window Ten. Oh, um, let me show. Uh, okay, let me show you how to save first. Save okay. a file. There is uh, Excel. Excel and uh, Word, they are the same thing. Do you agree with that? For okay. example, I want to save. Click, yeah. okay. click this file and save as. Save as. Okay. You can find a bright, you can browse a location you are familiar. For example, you want to put it on desktop, on your desktop, and you give it a name, whatever name, and you press save, and now you can find it on your desktop. And, okay, fine. Yep. Okay. And oh, then, you. then you can go to Blackboard to to find your file, and then click this submit button. There is a submit button here. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, good.